What's up YouTube, it's David Taylor here with Techno Buffalo, and today I have a new tutorial for all of you. I'm going to show you how to install CyanogenMod 10.1 on the Galaxy Note 2. Okay, so before we begin, I just wanted to mention that this is a rooting video, so this will void your warranty. So please do this at your own risk. I'm just showing you how to do it, uh, and these files might not work for you. You have to make sure that this is the N7100 version of the Galaxy Note 2. I'm going to go into here, go down to About Device, and show you right there the GTN7100. This is the non-LTE version of the Galaxy Note 2. So just make sure you have that device before you begin, or else this will not work. All right, and to start off, we're going to get this thing rooted. So you want to go after you download all three of my files. I have them all in the description for uh, this video, as well as on the link on Techno Buffalo. You go to the CF auto root thing right here. Go down to this download down here and click this. It'll download the zip file. And then these other ones are the CyanogenMod, the uh, G apps that you need, as well as the uh, open recovery for twerp. So after you get all four of those files downloaded, I like to put them all into uh, one folder just so I can keep it all together. You want to go click on the CF auto root, right click on that and click on extract. And I, I like to extract it to its own folder. So I'm going to click on that. And now you get the CF auto root folder right here. Double click on that and you have odin, odin.ini and the CF auto root uh, .tar .md5 file. You want, you want to make sure that's the exact file and make sure that this is the N7100 version. You can get this for the other versions if you have a different version of the Galaxy Note 2, but this is for the N7100 version of it. So you want to right click on odin.exe, click on run as administrator. It's then going to open up a window just like this. You want to make sure that a yellow box shows up right there. Now you want to put your device into download mode. Now to do that, you want to hold in the power button, power it off, and then once it powers off, you want to hold in the down volume button, the home button, as well as the power button. And then once it boots back up, you should see a screen. Let me turn this off really quick, just like that. And then when it boots up, you will see this screen. And then you want to hit up on the volume button to then put it into download mode. And you'll see this is downloading. Do not turn off target. So then just put that down for now. And then you want to go back to your computer. You might see two yellow boxes here, but what I like to do is just re go back into Odin and it'll only show up as one, just so you know that that's the right one. You want to click on PDA and then search for that folder that you created earlier. I have rooting Galaxy Note 2, where I have all my other files. Click on the CF auto root folder and then click on the .tar.md5 file right here, the auto root, and then click open. Now all you have to do is hit start and then this will actually root the Galaxy Note 2. So I'm going to hit start and it'll start saying a bunch of stuff in the message box as well as you'll see a blue uh, bar go across and then you'll see that it starts to root. And then once you get a green pass box on the uh, Odin, that means that it worked perfectly fine. And then your device will start to do this. You'll see a little uh, red Android guy in there and it'll start flashing all the files for the root. And then once this is done, it'll reboot and go back to your uh, home screen. So there we go, it's rebooting now. We'll go back to your home screen and it won't be anything different, but you will have a, a program called Super SU installed. And that means that it is rooted and that's just what you need to uh, get CyanogenMod onto the Galaxy Note 2. There we go, it says Android is upgrading. And now we should just boot right back into the home screen. There we go, you wanna slide to unlock. And now just check really quick that you are actually rooted by going into apps. And then scrolling over until you see that little Superman-like icon that says Super SU. You can click on it and make sure it loads fine, uh, as well as it'll, it'll probably pop up and say, do you want to follow me on Twitter for the developer? You can just say, no, thanks. All right, now that you're back at the home screen, you want to go to your My Computer file. Open this up. Make sure that you can see your device. If you can't, it's no big deal. Just unplug the USB cable that you have right here and plug it back in. That way it'll uh, recognize it on your computer. Double click on this and then double click on the storage. And then you want to create a folder called ROMs. I like to call it ROMs just because it's, it's easy to remember. Just call it ROMs. And I put this to the side. Open up your file that you had, that you downloaded all the files from before. You want to then drag and drop the CM, the uh, CyanogenMod 10.1, whatever version you have. This is the nightly version that I have. Uh, they upload these almost every night. They update these. See, this was the last one was updated today. I'm just using an older one, but you guys can use whatever one you want. So drag the CM 10.1 nightly file and the G apps uh, file over and put them right into your ROMs 
uh, folder, folder that you created on the phone. And this will just copy it right over. Put your device back into download mode. I'm gonna scroll across here, close this, hit power off, okay? And then you wanna remember to hold down the volume button, home button, and power button. This will then reboot the phone. And hopefully you get right there, you get this message, then you hit up on the volume button and you go back into download mode. Now you wanna reopen up Odin once again. Let's move that up a little bit so you guys can see. Uh, you wanna reopen up Odin really quick. All right here, hit run as administrator. Now you wanna make sure you have that yellow box again. Hit PDA, go to that file or the folder that you have all your stuff in. Open recovery.twerp, you want this one, the .tar file. You want that, hit open, and then hit start. And now this will install Twerp, which is the Team Wayne Recovery Project, which is the uh, custom GUI interface that will let you, you know, touch buttons and that kind of stuff. It, it's a lot better than using uh, Clockwork Recovery, in my opinion. It, you can, it just looks better, and you can do a lot more stuff with it. So once this reboots, you will then see that you will be on Go back right to your home screen. You won't have anything different. And now the way that you actually get into the twerp is you just reboot this once again. So hit restart, or you can just power off, no big deal. Hit OK. Now you want to hold volume up and the home button, not volume down. You want to hold volume up, the home button, and then make sure it reboots. And then as long as you're holding the volume up and the home button, it should boot right into Twerp. There you go. You see Team Win, and then this will pop up. These are the uh, custom GUI interface that I was talking about before. So now this is really good. That means that everything's working properly, and you are rooted, and you have everything uh, ready to go. So now you're going to hit Wipe, go to Advanced Wipe, hit Dalvik Cache, and Cache, and then hit Slide to Wipe. This will just get rid of all the junk files that are on your device and make sure that everything is working properly. Hit Back, hit Back again, one more time, and then you want to go up to Install, and then find the folder that you created earlier. So there's my ROMs folder right there. Now, if you're not in the SD card folder and you're all the way back at root, all you have to do is scroll down, find SD card right there, and then scroll down again and find ROMs or whatever you named the file before. So I'm gonna click on that. You should see the CyanogenMod and the GApps file right there. So I'm gonna click on that and then just slide to custom flash or slide to confirm the flash. And this will actually install uh, CyanogenMod right on your device. Now CyanogenMod does not come with the Google app, so it doesn't have the Google Play Store or anything like that. That's why we had to download the GApps file. That will actually install Google Play and all the other Google stuff that comes with the Galaxy Note 2. So once this finishes installing, it takes a little bit, not too long though, there it goes. And you're gonna hit back on this, and then you're gonna click on GApps and then install this. So this will install, again, the Google Play Store and everything like that. This is actually really quick because it's a pretty small file. So once this finishes, you're good. Now you're gonna hit wipe again right there, and this will wipe the cache and the Dalva cache again really quick. And now what I like to do is I like to go all the way back and hit wipe again, but this time I'm gonna hit slide to factory reset. This will reset it to the factory defaults of the CyanogenMod. This will not erase everything that you just did. This will just make sure everything's working properly. So I'm gonna to slide to factory reset. Let that finish, it's really quick. Hit back, hit back again. And now all you have to do is hit reboot and then click on system. And now if everything works properly, this should boot with the CyanogenMod uh, logo and we'll see right here. So there we go, you can see that it has the CyanogenMod uh, boot logo right there, and it's just gonna go through the animation stages. This might take a little while. Uh, if it ends up taking like more than five minutes, all you have to do is boot back into Twerp and then do another factory reset. That just seems to clear it up for me. Uh, but I'm gonna let this sit, let this finish, and I'll show you all what it looks like once it boots up. All right, and there we go. Here's the boot screen. I'm just gonna go through this really quick. And here we go. Here is CyanogenMod 10.1. Show you guys really quick. Go down here, go to About Phone. Scroll down, you have 4.2.2 Android. So all the way down to the bottom. You can also see the nightly build that you have installed right there, 10.1. A really nice thing about CyanogenMod is that it does actually have over the air updates now. So you click on CyanogenMod updates 
and it'll actually search for over the air versions that you haven't installed yet and it'll find the ones that are ready to go. I don't think I have Wi-Fi and all that stuff on, but you can actually install the over the air updates that way. So it's a really nice feature that they have uh, put into 10.1. I think it was in an older version as well, but uh, this is great. So this actually works everything. Everything works fine. Data works fine. Uh, texting works fine. Again, just let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments below. Uh, I'll probably be responding as Robo13, so look out for that account uh, just in case you guys have any questions or any problems like that. Let me know in the comments down below. So I hope you guys like this video. My name is David Taylor, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys. What's up, everyone? John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, and I certainly hope you did, click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today! If you want to check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.